I can express metric mass measurements in terms of a smaller unit, model and solve addition and subtraction word problems involving metric mass. Okay, the key thing you're gonna learn about today is metric mass. Let's start with the review from yesterday. Finish the tables. I'll go ahead and do the first one for you. One meter equals how many centimeters? 100 centimeters. Okay, pause it, finish the table, and then move on when you're ready. Welcome to Metric Measurement, Episode 3, about weight. When you measure weight, you're measuring how heavy or how light something is. Weight is used for many important things, like food. When you want to buy something like bananas from the grocery store, you buy them by the pound. Here, for every pound of bananas you buy, you pay 59 cents. In this podcast, you will learn how to identify and describe the size of a gram and a kilogram. This can help you to estimate weight quickly and correctly. Here in the United States, we measure weight with customary units like ounces, pounds, or tons. However, most other places in the world use metric units of weight, like the gram and kilogram. The basic unit for measuring weight in the metric system is the gram. This tiny weight is exactly one gram. A large paper clip like this weighs about one gram. If you go on a scavenger hunt around your classroom, this is what you might find that weighs about one gram. A ones cube, three push pins, and a leg of a computer keyboard. Let's play an estimation game. About how many grams do you think this chess piece weighs? Remember how it would feel to hold something like a large paper clip. Use that memory to help you estimate. If you guessed eight or nine grams, you're right. Remember, grams are a very small measurement of weight. They are good for getting exact measurements. However, when you try to weigh something heavy, like an adult, it can be complicated to use something small, like grams. So you can use kilograms instead. A kilogram is 1,000 times as heavy as a gram. That means that 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. This large weight is exactly one kilogram. It would take 1,000 of these small weights to equal the weight of this kilogram. When it's full of grape jelly, this jar weighs close to one kilogram. If you go on a kilogram scavenger hunt, this is what you might find that weighs about one kilogram. A large tape dispenser, a box of artist chalk, and a small textbook. Let's play another round of our estimation game. About how many kilograms do you think this dictionary and thesaurus weigh together? If you don't know, think about how a big jar of grape jelly would fill and compare it to these two books. If you guess three kilograms, you're right! Using things that you're familiar with, like small paper clips, and large jars of grape jelly can help you estimate weight. Remember that kilograms are large when compared to grams. Practice estimating weight by picking up things around your house or classroom. Make an estimate before you check. Then check to see if you were close. You will be surprised at how much better you can estimate after you have practiced. Thanks for participating in these three metric measurement podcasts. Now you can estimate length, capacity, and weight. Okay, remember.
Remember, meter measures length. What do grams measure? The video you just watched told you all about grams. What did it measure? We have another table here. 1,000 grams equals blank kilograms. 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. Now, if you think about what you learned yesterday, you learned that 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. So the prefix stays the same. The only thing that's changed is that we're not measuring length anymore, we're measuring mass, we're measuring weight. So 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. Just like 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. Go ahead, pause, finish the table, and then move on when you're ready. Okay, in this next one we have two, we're starting with two kilograms. We pull one kilogram out, how many kilograms do we have left? We have one kilogram left. One kilogram equals how many grams? 1,000 grams. So one kilogram plus 1,000 grams is the same as two kilograms because 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. See if you can do this one, three kilograms. We pulled out two kilograms, how many do we have left? Go ahead and fill in the blank on your um, template. Move on when you're ready. Say 540 centimeters in meters and centimeters. Now remember, one centimeter is 100 meters. So in order to find out how many meters we have in our centimeters, we're gonna look in the hundreds place. And I see we have five. So we have five meters. How many centimeters? 40 centimeters. So 540 centimeters is the same as five meters, 40 centimeters. Okay. Say 320 centimeters in meters and centimeters. So we look at, remember, we look at the hundreds place. We have three meters because we have three in the hundreds place. And what we have left then is 20 centimeters. So 320 centimeters in meters and centimeters is three meters, 20 centimeters. Three hundred twenty centimeters is also this also three meters and twenty centimeters. Now we can add add the following measurements: five meters forty centimeters plus three meters twenty centimeters. Pause. Solve the problem. Move on when you're ready. Okay, the answer is eight mil eight meters sixty centimeters. So 540 centimeters plus 320 centimeters is the same as eight meters, 60 centimeters. Solve the following problems on your desk and then write them, write your answers in the space below so that we can check and see if you did it correctly. Okay, how about these problems? Can you solve them? Do the same thing. Write them on your desk. Put your answers in the space below so that we can check them later. Okay, today we're talking about weight and mass. This bottle of water weighs one kilogram. We can also say it has a mass of one kilogram. This is what a scientist would say. So mass and weight. Now remember one kilogram is also the same as how many grams? 1,000. So we could say that bottle weighs 1,000 grams as well. This dictionary weighs about one kilogram or 1,000 grams. 
The mass of this small paper clip is about one gram. A dollar bill weighs about one gram too. Remember, one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. If the mass of this dictionary is about one kilogram, about how many small paper clips will be as heavy as this dictionary? How many paper clips would we need to end up with the same weight as a dictionary? How many grams do I need to make one kilogram? I need 1,000. So, 1,000 paper clips would be the same mass as a dictionary. Okay, let's use a chart to show the relationship between kilograms and grams. Fill in the blanks. So go ahead, pause. I want you to go ahead and try to fill out this whole chart. Let's say it's probably pretty easy. So go ahead and do this on your own and we will check to see if you have done it later. Okay, here's the completed chart. A kilogram is heavier because we need 1,000 grams to equal one kilogram. One kilogram is 1,000 times as much as one gram. No need to feel lost or confused. You converted like this yesterday too. It just has different labels today. So, remember you draw the circle around your kilograms and you pull it out. How many grams do you pull out? 1,000 grams. Now, I can add this problem. 1,000 grams plus 500 grams equals 1,500 grams. Try these out on your own. I bet you can do them. Once you're finished solving them, write your answers in the space below. Okay, let's look at what the answers were. How'd you do? I bet you rocked it. Look at the answers. Compare them to what you wrote down. Okay, think about how you solved these problems yesterday. You either solved using algorithm or simplifying strategy. We can add different units together because we can convert the kilograms before adding. We can simplify easily. We know that 8,200 grams is 8 kilograms, 200 grams. Now you can stack them and add them. So I can say 8 kilograms plus, remember you can take the comma out and put a kg in its place, 8,000 kilograms, 200 grams. Remember, you also look at the thousands place. What number's in the thousands place? Eight. And that's my kilograms. Now, if this weren't grams, if this were something like uh, milligrams or centigrams, it would not be the number in the thousands place. This only, this trick only works if you're using just the basic measurement gram. Okay, go ahead, pause the video, see if you can solve this problem. You have space on each side to try to solve it. Okay, this should be what your problem looked like. Now, let's go ahead and solve this together. If I borrow one kilogram, I have nine kilograms. And I have 1,000 grams. And I fixed this on the previous one. I did not fix on this one. This should actually be 10,000 grams. 
minus 2,250 grams. So what we have is we have zero. Now we're gonna go to the neighbor. We can't borrow, so we're gonna go on over. That would make the combined number 10. So I take one away, that leaves me with nine. And remember what do I do with the one I just took? I put it next to its neighbor. 10 minus five is five, nine minus two is seven. So I have 750 grams. Nine minus two is seven. I have seven kilograms. Now let's solve this problem to the right, the algorithm. Zero minus zero is zero. Whoops, I have zero minus five, I can't do it. I look at the neighbor, nope, can't do that. Nope, can't do that, I can do that. So if I look at all the numbers combined up until I get to my number where I have to borrow, I see the number 100. What's 100 minus one? 100 minus one is 99. And what do I do with the one I just borrowed? I put it in front of my neighbor. 10 minus five is five. Nine minus two is seven, don't forget the comma. Nine minus two is seven. So I have 7,750 grams, but converting that would be seven kilograms, 750 grams. Did I get the same answer both times? Yes, I did. So does it matter which method you use to solve? No. Do whatever you feel is easiest for you. Which one do you understand the best? That's a whole th concept that you need to learn in math. Whichever method you know how to use, use it if it gets you to the correct answer. Okay, here's a word problem. A suitcase cannot weigh more than 23 kilograms for a flight. Robert packed his suitcase for his flight and it weighs 18 kilograms, 705 grams. How many more grams can he add to his suitcase without going over the weight limit? So let's go ahead and label our bar. We know that the suitcase can't weigh over 23 kilograms. Yeah, well, it looks like I see grams. How many more grams can he add without going over? Well, let's see, this is kind of confusing. What should I do before I even try to solve this? What should I do? I should underline the important information. So it cannot weigh more, cannot weigh more than 23 kilograms. Robert packed a suitcase for his flight and it weighs 18 kilograms, 705 grams. The question is how many more grams can he add to the suitcase? without going over the weight limit. So I'm gonna start, I wanna know grams. So let's just go ahead and get rid of the 23 kilograms. And what do we actually have? We have 23,000 grams. This weighs 18 kilograms, 705 grams. So I could say 18,705 grams. How many more grams? We don't know, so we're gonna put an A there as our variable. Now if you look at the next slide, everything's already been converted back to kilograms and grams. Remember what I said a minute ago, do what's easiest for you. So if you used my previous bar, if you said 23,000 grams, 18,705 grams, go ahead and try to solve the problem, convert when you're done, and see if you end up getting the same answer that I do. Now I'm gonna go to the next one and I'm gonna label the bar the way the problem is, is 23 kilograms. And then we have 18 kilograms, 
705 grams. And now I need to subtract. Well, I have 23 kilograms, but no grams. And I have, so I have nothing to take from. I have to borrow one kilogram and put it in the grams section. Now, one kilogram equals how many grams? 1,000, so I'm gonna borrow one. That makes it 22. And now I've just borrowed 1,000 grams. What's zero minus five? We can't do it. So we're gonna look at the neighbor. Nope, can't do it. Zero, zero, zero. So if I look at the neighbor that I had to borrow from, all those numbers together equal 100. What's 100? Take away one. 99, what do I do with the one I just borrowed? I put it next to the neighbor. 10 minus five is five. Nine minus zero is nine. Nine minus seven is two. 22 minus 18. Can I do two minus eight? I cannot. So I have to borrow from the neighbor one. What happens to what I just borrowed? It goes in front of its neighbor. 12 minus eight is four. That leaves me with four kilograms, 295 grams. The question is how many more grams can he add to a suitcase without going over the weight limit? So now you have to convert this back to grams. So would this problem have been easier to solve if we had just kept our conversion to begin with? Maybe, depending on how you feel about borrowing and all that stuff. Okay, so we have four kilograms, which is the same as 4,000 grams, 295. Robert can add 4,295 more grams to a suitcase without going over the weight limit. Okay, good. So today, on your problem set, you're going to do just like you did yesterday. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, um, let's do 2A together. I think the chart's pretty easy. 2A, uh, one kilogram, 500 grams is the same as, what's a kilogram again, 1,000? 1,500 grams. Okay, let's look down at uh, B. B. I have one kilogram minus 237 grams. Well, if I set that up, one kilogram minus 237 grams. I have nothing to take away, so I have to borrow one kilogram. How many grams did I just borrow? I borrowed a thousand. Okay, you should be able to do the rest on your own. Remember, look at the neighbor. This one, the zeros go all the way up to the one. That's going to leave me with 99. So go ahead and try this on your own.